we have caught the train from Edinburgh to Grantham and now we're going from Grantham to Nottingham and we have a few hour wait in Nottingham so we'll find something to do there. You get to visit your friend then? Yes. This is Ye Old Trip to Jerusalem Inn which is the oldest inn, the oldest pub in England, uh, 1189 AD. It's actually really cool. Uh, inside it's carved into the sandstone of the cliff face and on top of that is the castle. So when you go inside you're actually you know, partially in a building, partially also inside the cliff. Very cool. I'm Melody and this is Michael. In 2019 we moved to London to teach and backpack across Europe. Flash forward to 2022 and we have finally made it back for our next adventure. So subscribe and let's get going. Picture of the gate. Yep. Um, and yeah, so maybe just, go to the pub that we never went to. Yeah. A little random. Mm. Yeah, there was a pub that we meant to go to for six months and then just never did. But it's open today, so we'll try. Could uh, even go to the pub that we very first went to when we arrived. Yeah. Well, the, they bought us free drinks. That was nice. And was pouring rain. That's right. Old mate bought me a drink. He was also trying to convince me to rent a room off his friend, <laughs> which I think was a council house <laughs> that you weren't allowed to rent rooms out to, and they didn't have internet. But he didn't get too far with that argument. <laughs> um, and what buses will we take? The one? 142 and the 258. Uh, I like numbers. Very good. <laughs> Terrific. So bushy. Please take care when stepping from the train to the platform edge. And remember, see all of your luggage and belongings with you when you leave the train. the Raver's house. They love to rave with the windows open. The one, De Costella. The old beer fridge. Spent a lot of time in this beer fridge. And in this Tesco. So we just visited the house that we used to live. Still looks the same, pretty grim. And uh, now we're going to walk to my school and up to Melody's. walking on, which is now a footpath, was actually a roadway, a laneway, probably up till 20 or so years ago. It's about the width of one car, so I can see why they closed it. Now you have to drive all the way around, but originally you could scoot through. Uh, yeah, I can see why they closed it. It's shit. <coughs> Might 
make the cutting room. They've replaced the fence at the back of the school and they've put a gate in. But originally it was just a pushed over piece of fence, which everyone would walk through, including the teachers. You'd see them walk out and just step on the fence to get into work quicker. So you can walk across the oval rather than walk all the way around. I used to work. Glad I don't have to work in the UK anymore. So this is where I used to work. It was called the Bushy Academy when I worked here. This is a traditional English lager, pulled up a tap, not overly carbonated and not overly cold. Still tastes like a warm craft beer. Dad, this one's for you. This is my first traditional English beer, locally brewed. Pulled off a tap, pumped by hand, not overly carbonated and not overly cold. <laughs> Tastes like a warm craft beer in Australia, but not too bad. We just made our trip to the red line. I sat in my old favourite chair and uh, once again got an English ale, which I didn't really enjoy, but I'm still trying. We finally made it to the Swan, uh, which was first developed back in the 1800s. And it's a residential area and it's maintained its license ever since. So either side of houses, and they tell me it's a proper Victorian era pub, where you used to come in with your jug, you'd go straight to the beer hole, you'd fill your jug and you'd go home and drink it. And now it's basically like a lounge room. Uh, people were friendly, beer was good, but with more pubs to see. <laughs> We've just finished up at Bushy. It was kind of sad to leave it. I could yeah. have spent another couple of hours there actually. We should probably just should have spent the entire day there. Yeah, we could have stayed on at the Swan I think, but <laughs> we're off to the Ned now. Yeah. The Ned is like something out of a Hollywood movie. In fact, it's probably been in a Hollywood movie. It's a very elaborate uh, hotel bar. I'm not sure which era it's from, but we Michael just went saw... there last time. Yeah, just for a solo drink. I was, I was seeing a friend. On my tour of old historical pubs. <laughs> but the one we just went in was a Victorian pub. Mm. So It was super cute. I can't believe we didn't go there the entire six months. They were so friendly. Yeah, much nicer than the uh, the Red Lion in the end. The Red Lion's a chain. And like the people there, it's the same people that were there four years ago, but you don't feel like a local there, even though we went every Friday. Whereas the swamp we walked in, nobody was just having a chat. <laughs> yeah, very friendly. It was like a big lounge room. Yeah. But uh, we're off to the net, which is potentially also a Victorian era bar, but that's where the fancy people would have been. Well, it's a hotel. It's a hotel. Yeah. Several bars in one. Yeah. Anyway. And then we are going to another bar this afternoon uh, to meet one of Michael's colleagues and her partner just to finish off the day and then uh, we'll see where we get to from there. That's pretty much all our plans. Actually, see the original bank hole, which is now a bar. 